What's up guys, Mark Wienerbach here in the cleanest gym in North America. Uh, we have Shane here behind the camera with a mask. So we're going to go over gym mistakes. Uh, not all of them because I don't have that much time. We're just going to show a couple exercises, okay? Starting with the decline cable fly or any fly for that matter. So very often what we're seeing is the gorilla. That doesn't work because here I virtually cannot contract my pecs. I need to be in a position where my shoulders are down and I come here just over my thigh, right? So then the question is always like range of motion and there's two answers to it. There's uh, flexibility and then there's mobility. But okay, well, what, what is the difference? I don't understand. So the difference is this. So if I'm purely referring to flexibility, then I could just do this, like, and let the weight stretch me. But I can't really do anything with my pecs back here. Mobility <coughs> describes how I pull my lats open and thereby pulling my pecs back. So if I go by mobility, I would just be up to here. That's what I could do, right? So that's your chest. Then there's the lat pull-on. Well, you probably don't have such a cool lat pull-on and I feel sorry for you, but we do. And um, so very often what you see is the human titter-totter. <clears throat> human goes down, weight goes up. That's all nonsense. So first of all, again, you figure out your mobility. So like for me to do this, I start like somewhere here, right? So I sit down and turn my hand slightly outward and now i drive my elbows into the rib cage just like that so that would be the problem we're doing i could fall back a bit more make it more of a row but obviously if i'm trying to bring the two ends of the muscle together i can only move this one not both of them then we're going just how the equipment goes here um, the order the uh, single arm row, right? There's two mistakes. First, there's this business of bouncing on the floor or whatever. Like, you break intention. So, first things first. You angle yourself perfectly so that pointing downward, now you have a slight angle, just like so, and you're coming up no higher than this, and you're trying to wrap around a little bit, just a little bit, right? So, tension from here, my elbow goes up, but on the way down, I wouldn't just lose it, right? So that's the, we're gonna wipe all this down when we're done, okay? Um, then, since we're here, my dad's will talk biceps. So, the seated curl, right? And very often it's like, something like this. And that really comes with nothing because in slow motion, what I'm doing is I'm really moving my delts and then I do a little bit of curling, but I'm not doing any curling per se. So it would behoove me, I was itching to use that word, if I actually start slightly behind and now I keep the tension just like that. Or I push my arm out a little bit and have tension that way. Thumb goes under. Um, since I'm sitting here, might as well, uh, side raises, right? Talk about this over and over again, but often looks like this. This is a shrug slash lower back raise. I don't quite know what it is. So when you are doing dumbbell side raises, you gotta understand, by the law of physics, here is no resistance. That's all my opinion. That's just how things are. So, Ergo, you must start here, right? To here. Because anything less, there's really no resistance. Um, and there's an interesting one, uh, shoulder press. And that is sort of a uh, sign of the times. So a lot of people that come to me these days, very well intended, just like you guys are, they want to do a shoulder press, and they're okay, sit down, and then this happens. Okay, so wait, wait, wait a minute, what does this mean? That means from, you know, being housebound and working, whatever, they're actually so stiff that they can't 
do this. So in that case, it pays to have a seat that is more of an incline, something like this. And now the guy can actually do a proper shoulder press. Okay, uh, kickbacks. A lot of times people do this. No. First of all, your shoulder works too hard to stay up and you're not getting any contraction. So instead, stand a bit taller and squeeze back it's like that. And uh, let's do a little bit of leg stuff since we're here. So with the leg extension, um, you've all seen the photos. These things have a purpose, they really do. Especially for this machine, which doesn't have back support because it does two things at once. The purpose being, you pull yourself down to create tension. So, pulling yourself down, and now on the way back, I'm actually contracting my hammies. Now what you normally see is something like this, which is sort of like a hip, flexor movement with some knee damage being involved. And then the last thing I want to do, talk about, is the leg press, which also goes into the whole flexibility, mobility idea. Um, there's two ways this is being done. Either there's weight, like all of Mount Everest. And then we're seeing this, the wall runner squat thing. Or there's moderate weight and we're seeing this. So my flexibility, sure, I can do this, but I can't actually work my quads. So instead, you'll be better off pulling it down actively and then drive it up without locking out. You can vary the stances like it would be more quads, more hamstrings, more glutes, but the point being is don't let the machine shove you into the hole to the point where you're being overstretched. Just lock out. All right, mic out.